Welcome back to Massetti's Math Movies, where it's a cute to be a square. Today's lesson is 11.8 rotations. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to identify rotations and rotational symmetry. All right, a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure around a fixed point. That fixed point is called the center of rotation. All right, that fixed point. The angle of rotation is how many degrees that it's been turned, or obviously its angle. Um, we'll say the angle formed between the image, the center of rotation, and the figure. And rotational symmetry is when a figure is able to be mapped onto itself. With a rotation of less than 180. Less than or equal to 180 degrees. So let's do an example. Let's take this, we'll take a heart, and we're going to rotate it around this point. So let's rotate it down here. So this is a rotation. This is the center of rotation. And then if we were to make an angle between these points, We'll start with the original, go to the center, go to the new. This is the angle of rotation. So it looks like we did a 90 degree rotation. That's the angle of rotation. Now rotational symmetry is when you can turn a shape and it looks exactly the same. So take, for example, this triangle. You could turn this and it would look exactly the same. You could actually turn it three times. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Identifying rotational symmetry. Does the figure have rotational symmetry? If so, describe the rotations that map the figure onto itself. So they want us to describe, they want us to talk about the angle. So could we turn this and have it look exactly the same? Yes, we could turn it twice. We could keep it like this, or we could turn it there. So that's two turns that we could do and have it stay the same. So yes, we could. Now, to talk about the angle, to find the angle of rotation, you take 360 degrees and you divide by the number of turns. All right, so we could turn this clockwise or counterclockwise, well, let's talk about the angle. We have to do 360 divided by the number of turns. We could turn this twice. There's, so 360 divided by 2 equals 180 degrees. So this shape can be rotated 180 degrees either way, and it would look exactly the same. Could we turn this trapezoid and have it turned and have it look exactly the same? No. A trapezoid has no rotational symmetry. Figures A, B, and C have the original figure, uh, images of the original figure. Tell which one shows the rotation described. So here's your original. 
which one of these shows 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degrees clockwise? So let's talk about clockwise and not clockwise. Right, if you're going the same direction as the clock, that's called clockwise. If you're going in the opposite direction of the clock, that's called counterclockwise. And each of these are 90 degrees. So if you go 180 degrees clockwise, you got to go two 90s. All right, so you're going to do this now. And your choices are either A, B, or C. Which one shows 90 degrees clockwise? A, B, or C. Which one shows 180? A, B, or C. You get the idea. For the checkpoint, does the figure have rotational symmetry? So either you're either going to say yes or no. If so, describe the rotations. That's the angle. All right, so if you say yes, you have to do 360 degrees divided by the number of turns that you could do. So can you turn this and have it look exactly the same? Can you turn this and have it look exactly the same? Can you turn this and have it look exactly the same? How many times? And then calculate this. So do this now as well. We're going to skip this example for now and come back to it in class. And we're going to come back to this in one second. So I want you to get out the extra sheet that I gave you. It looks like this. So we're going to rotate some points in the coordinate plane. In some cases, it may be simple to estimate the location of a point after rotation. So here's an example, 0, 2. Here's point P. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So here's 90 degrees, and we're going to go clockwise. So that's going to end up right here, P prime. So P prime is at 2, 0. So that wasn't so bad. That was pretty easy to do. But sometimes it gets a lot harder. So take this for example. Segment AB, A is at negative 2, 5. B is at 2, 3. Draw that in there. We have to rotate it 270 degrees clockwise. That means we've got to go all the way over here. But where's that? Where's B going to end up? How do we know exactly where it's going to go? Instead of just guessing, we're going to use these formulas. So 90 degrees clockwise, which is the same thing as 270 degrees counterclockwise, is going to follow this rule. You take x and y, and you flip them, and you make this one negative, or opposite, I should say. The 180 degree rule is change the sign of both, and the 270 degree rule is flip and make the y opposite. All right, so let's do this example up here. I'm going 270 degrees clockwise, 270 degrees clockwise, so this is the rule, right? This over to the side, negative y, x. That's the rule I'm going to follow. So I've got to take this, I've got to switch these, and then change the one in the front. So a prime, we're going to switch these so it's 5, negative 2, and then we've got to change the sign of the one in the front. So negative 5, negative 2. B prime, we have to do the same thing. We're going to switch these, 3 and 2, and change the sign of the one in the front. That's where A, B is going. So let's look at that and see if that looks right. A prime is going to negative 5, negative 2. B prime is going to negative 3, 2. So this 
is what a 270 degree rotation looks like. Right? It's also the same thing as 90 degrees clockwise. All right, or counterclockwise, I'm sorry, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So let's try another one. Rotate ABC 90 degrees clockwise. So let's go find that rule, 90 degrees clockwise. Y negative X, write that rule down. So I need to find my new A, my new B, and my new C. All right, so I take the coordinates, flip them, and change the sign of the one in the back. So let's flip these, 5, negative 2. But now I need to change the one in the back. So that turns to plus. we got to flip these and change the sign of the one in the back. Flip these and change the sign of the one in the back. That is where a new triangle is going to go if we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. All right, so now I want you to try these. Write the rule over here. Then you're going to give me your new point. Where is F going to go? Where's your new L? And where's your new H? I need your new A, your new B, and your new C. All right, so I want you to do this now. This is M cubed, signing out.